Unlike most young adults, Diamond has no social media accounts, no Facebook, no Instagram, no Twitter. Here's why. I have a beard. I get ridiculed every day. People question my gender. No matter what I do, it just keeps coming back. I first noticed the facial hair growing in when I was 15. I would shave once a week. There were times that people did notice and tease me about it, but I really didn't pay too much attention to it. About three years ago, it started to get really bad. I had to start shaving every day. I've tried hair removal creams, waxing, but every day it comes back. It takes me about three hours to get ready. I shave my beard, I pluck my sideburns, and start to do my makeup, trying to get the perfect coverage. No matter what I do to hide it, people still notice. When I go into stores, I do see the stares, the looks, comments. I moved from job to job to job to get away from the bullying. I haven't been to a doctor because I'm embarrassed. I fear what the results might be. If I never would have shaved my face, maybe it wouldn't have grown as bad as it did. What mistake did I make? When I go out and I do my makeup and I'm feeling confident, I feel like I can do anything in the world. But the real me is a freak and I just want to stay home. I feel like my excessive care is stopping me from being the person that I truly am. Please welcome Diamond to the show. <laughs> Diamond, I Watching you in that tape piece, it broke my heart because I, I see a beautiful woman sitting here before me. And I I'm really proud of you for sharing your story because it's so much more common than you would ever in a million years realize. And I, it's just, I feel for you, you've been suffering all alone with this. What's been the hardest part for you? The hardest part for me is the distance I put myself with, like, f with my family. They always want to spend time with me, and I'm always like, no, I don't want to spend time. I don't want to go out anywhere. I just, it, it, it hurts the amount of self-pity I put myself through every single day. That's where it hurts. Well, one of the reasons that Diamond came here is because obviously Diamond doesn't want to wonder anymore what's going on. There was obviously a lot more to be done. We connected Diamond with Dr. Nita for a full consult in hopes to reach a diagnosis. I'm going to the doctor for the first time to get checked out for my condition. I'm feeling really nervous. I'm Dr. Nita. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. All right, so what's going on? Uh, I'm having a uh, few issues growing, you know, excessive facial hair. How often do you shave or wax? Yeah, I do it every day. Would you say that this hair growth has caused you to have depression at any time or anything like that? Yes. Have you ever thought about harming yourself? I have thought about it. I think about the things that people said every single day, and it's just, it plays in my mind, and I just can't get rid of it. Words hurt. Right. They do hurt. Although we're here to address the hair growth, we also need to address the emotional aspect right. of this, because at the end of the day, I want you to feel good when you look in the mirror. Say it with me. Say, I, <laughs> I am, am beautiful. One more time. <laughs> I am beautiful. Say it with conviction. <laughs> I am beautiful. I want to do a physical exam, We'll also do an ultrasound to look at your ovaries. And additionally, we need to get some blood work on you. Okay. Once we get all of those results back, mm -hmm. then I'll be able to give you a definitive diagnosis mm -hmm. and then we're gonna make Diamond feel good about herself. Okay. Inside and out. So, uh, Dr. Nita, thank you obviously for seeing Diamond. I know the two of you connected. Diamond, did it feel, did it feel good to, to finally talk to a doctor about everything you've been going through and to get that exam and get some testing done? It did, it felt great. I felt a sense of relief, like a weight has been lifted off my shoulders that someone is finally 
listening to me and not judging me by my appearance, but what I, but what I tell them.